Well, good morning, fellow travelers. Graham Cracker here, coming to you from inside Vinny. I'm uh, fixing me up some coffee this morning, and I'm also going to be making some green juice. Uh, this is kind of an informative video on uh, how, what kind of things I do to try to be healthy and stay healthy uh, while traveling in a van. Um, one of the things that I've done this year is to cut out all my grains. Now, I do slip up occasionally, but 99% of the time I'm grain free. And I've done that on purpose because of inflammation in my system. If I eat too much grain, then I swell up like a big old balloon. And then I don't feel good. I have a lot of pain uh, and I don't function very well. Uh, so cutting out the grain has been really great. and. Uh, it was hard at first, but I've been doing it for a couple months now, so it's not so bad. Um, but then the other thing that I started doing was drinking a green juice, is which is vegetables. And I don't like vegetables, so I drink them. And uh, one of the main reasons that I drink them is to clean out my kidneys, to clean out my... Uh, arteries because I do have high blood pressure and my kidney function is giving me some concern. So I've just been watching problems creep up and creep up because of my size and my age and you know that kind of thing. So I wanted to drop my size which uh, this year I have. It's down a whole shirt size, a couple pants sizes down. Anyway, it's not about losing weight. It's about being healthy and about living you know, I, I'm 61. I want to live a little longer. I don't want to uh, end my life right now on planet Earth. I, I kind of like planet Earth. So I want to hang out a while. So getting healthy is, is really important to me. Um, it's pretty doggone important to me to get healthy so that, you know, I can live and do this lifestyle longer. I've only been at it for three years. I want to be out here longer. Uh, so anyway... Um, without further ado, I'm going to show you how I make a green juice in the van without a juicer. I do have a magic bullet, but I do not have a juicer. And I'm going to show you how you can make juice, not a smoothie, but juice on the road. Um, if you can keep your vegetables uh, cool or do them fresh every day, you can do the same juice. We're uh, juicing with the graham cracker here. Okay, we're still rolling, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, we're going to be making some juice here. And the first thing I do is use um, lettuce. Okay, this is romaine. I'm going to pull off a couple leaves. I have a little bit of the heart left. Because I've already made some, so you're getting in on a second batch thingy. This has got dirt in it. Of course Where? Of course we want to wash it. Okay. Wash. Nice sink you have. Thank you very much. Mm. My filmer here is Tina from ZenQuest Journey. She's helping What's me up, out. What's up y'all? Helping me out. Anyway, you break up your little lettuce. And that's about all the lettuce you want. That's it. And then because this container is small, it's 32 ounces, I use half of everything. Cucumber, peeling cucumbers. Because if you don't peel them, they're nasty. Too much pulp. Plus, they got wax on them when you buy them. Ain't that nasty? Yeah, it is kind of nasty. That's why I peel it. Get out of my way. As Crocodile Dundee said, this is a knife. <laughs> Get rid of this knife. Get this knife. There we go. Watch the fingers. Hospitals are far away. Two celery stalks. I don't like celery, but celery works in this juice. Do you have a celery taste in it at all? No. No celery flavor. Just cucumber. Lemon. Lots of women. I bet vodka would be good in this drink, huh? 
<laughs> this is a health drink, not a whiskey drink. Okay. No, you could make, I guess, a Bloody Mary out of all this stuff. Yeah. I, I, if it has a if it has a cucumber flavor, it would be a good mix for um, what do you call that? Gimlets, cucumber gimlets, I think they're called. I don't know. I'm not a drinker. I couldn't tell you. I'm using a half an apple. I like to buy the sweeter ones so that this juice has a little sweetness to it. And you may be asking, what's the purpose of the juice? This juice, the combination of what I'm using, cleans out the arteries. I have high blood pressure. This juice brings my blood pressure down. Um, I'm not saying it's a cure-all. Maybe there's other factors in my body that this helps, but it helps clean your arteries, whether you have high blood pressure or not. One of these a day, and you know, you, you just feel better. I know how many ingredients I get in here. I've got four, okay. Normally I would use a real lemon. Lemons are a dollar a piece, so I'm using lemon. And if you're using this liquid stuff, three tablespoons. That may, that's the equivalent of one full lemon. Now, you can stop right there. That would be your five ingredients. However, I also have trouble with heartburn. So I add vinegar with the mother. With the mother vinegar. That helps with heartburn. Indigestion. Two tablespoons. Is this going to be bitter? Kind of. It's going to taste like lemonade. Ouch. Then I'm going to add just a little bit of water. The reason I'm adding all this liquid is because it blends quicker and easier with the liquid added. couple tablespoons of water, plain old ordinary water, tap water will do. And that's all I put in the blender. And then I blend it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over here. Okay. I don't know, do, 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 do. I don't know if you'll get it. <clears throat> there we go. There it is. Juice. Oh. Actually, vegetables. Watch what happens to vegetables. I blend it till it's liquid and we're done. Now, when I go to drink this, you can drink it as is and it's real thick. See how thick it is? Real thick. I don't like it thick. In fact, for me, thick, nasty. So I use this right here as a little, just a little cloth. And I've already juiced, so this, this is just sitting in here in the water to get washed. But it's just this little, like, cheesecloth. And I pour that in. And what I will do is I will squeeze the juice out into a bowl and then I'll pour it back in there and it'll be clear juice. This right now I'm going to put it in a baggie to freeze it. If mm -hmm. I was going to drink this I would uh, squeeze it through and then I would add five ounces of coconut water because I like coconut water mm -hmm. added to it. Mm -hmm. It tastes, tastes pretty good. And then you just drink it. It um, fills up, it, it fills all the way to the top. When you, when you squeeze it it'll fill all the way to the top which is 32 ounces of juice every day. And that's it. That's how I make my juice. That's it. That's it. That's it. And you've lost a lot of weight, actually. You lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I lost weight because I cut out grain. Mm. Uh, I, I quit eating grain. I'm doing kind of like a paleo keto type of a thing. I'm eating more fats, uh, proteins, and vegetables. That's my vegetables because mm -hmm. I don't like vegetables. And then I eat some fruits. Mm -hmm. And occasionally I'll eat some potato chips or something like that, but not very often. Mm -hmm. And your blood pressure is, um, oh, it's better, right? It's and, better. And how about your um, cholesterol levels? And oh, those were all normal. But when I started this stuff, okay, I always have normal. But um, yeah, 
pain thrush pain's gone down because this this is pulling the inflammation off my body so this is uh, working for pulling the inflammation off bringing my blood pressure down a little bit um, it was really good the other day and then it was high again um, so I'm not sure where my blood pressure sits no I'm not on blood pressure medicines they want me to be on them I'm not taking them because this is helping me and I'm seeing a trend with my blood pressure going down yours may not I'm not a doctor mine's going down and I'm monitoring mine so this is just a juice that um, I read about that cleans the arteries and if your arteries are clean your blood pressure is naturally going to you know not be so hard but you may have other risk factors like um, weight um, uh, pain pain will bring your blood pressure up mm -hmm. and other risk factors that will cause your blood pressure to rise so this is not a cure this just helps me okay cut All right. so right now I'm going to put this juice in this uh, net right here to strain it And I just pour it in in a bowl. Gives me plenty of room. And uh, then I will pull this up. I like to get it out of my way. You don't have to do all this. And uh, now I'm going to juice it. I'm going to milk it. It's really cold because I've had it in the fridge. Um, I've let it thaw out. It was frozen and now it's cold. This juice tastes better cold. Um, or very very fresh if you make it fresh and you drink it right away it tastes pretty good but if it's cold it's also really good but I'm going to um, milk this get all the juice out it's quite a bit of pulp in this juice um, I don't like the pulp I just rather have the juice because the juice goes into your bloodstream really quickly. So now that I'm done milking this, and I'll take this and pour it in my cup. Of course my hands were clean. Now I like coconut water. This is organic coconut water. Uh, so I'm going to add that. You do not have to. Coconut water is expensive. Uh, then we're going to get me a straw. Stir it up. I'm looking for the lid. It's right in front of my face. Right in front of my face. And uh, that's it. That's uh, juice. Um, that's my green juice and uh, mm, it tastes pretty dang good tastes like lemonade well we're all done making our juice this is the product right here um, tastes like green lemonade to me mm. also done with coffee have my breakfast duo anyway I thank you very much for coming with me today I appreciate each and every one of you, all of my subscribers, all of you that comment and like and share. I really, really do appreciate you all. I try to read every one of those comments. Sometimes it'll take a few days before you get a response from me. Uh, please bear with me. I'm really trying to keep up with everybody and I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Anyway, um, thanks for traveling with me today and I want you to follow your heart embrace your dreams and cherish your life and get out there and do something don't just hang out and sit around I do that too much so for me <laughs> go do something I'm trying to take my own advice yesterday I actually went for a walk so um, which is very difficult for me to do anyway some of you might be wondering you know about my shirt uh, it says uh, accessibility matters uh, I use a wheelchair a lot and I have a deaf child and a blind child so accessibility to us is very important. Anyway, I'm sure it's important to each and every one of you as well. So uh, just a cute shirt that I thought was kind of cool. Anyway, have a good day. Thanks for traveling with me. Talk to you again. Bye-bye.